Hey there. If you're someone who struggles with missed deadlines, procrastination, or just keeping track of tasks, you're in the right place. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a productivity system using Trello. That will change the way you work. In just a few minutes, you'll learn how to stay organized, meet your deadlines, and manage your workload effectively. And as a quick tip, if you're interested in productivity resources and community support, check out the link in the description below for free tools, resources, and discussions on everything project management. First things first, click the link in the description to head over to trello.com. Once you're there, take a look at the top right corner of your screen and click the blue Get Trello for Free button. Follow the instructions to create your account and verify your email. Once you're done, you'll land on your workspace. Now, a quick note here. Trello uses the term workspace to describe a container that holds all your boards. Each board is essentially where you'll be tracking your tasks. Look at it as a digital filing cabinet with various folders or sections inside. Pretty simple, right? Now it's time to set up your productivity system, starting with a single board. You'll want to find the Create New Board button in the top right corner of your workspace. Click it, and this will bring up the board creation menu. In the Board Title field at the top, type something like Organize My Life to give your board a relevant name. You can also personalize your board by clicking on the background option just below the title. Trello integrates with Unsplash, so if you click See More, you'll be able to choose from a variety of beautiful background images. For instance, I'm going with a calming beach at twilight, but feel free to pick something that inspires you. Before creating your board, it's important to pay attention to the visibility settings in the left sidebar. You'll want to set this to private, since this board will be your personal productivity hub. Don't worry though, you can always share it later if you need to collaborate with someone. This is where the magic happens. Your board might show up blank, or it could have some default lists already in place, but we're going to set up a more optimized system. To create a list, simply look for the Add Another List button on your board. It's typically on the left side. Once you click it, type in the name of the list and press Enter to save it. We're going to create these five essential lists. Organize Me, To Do, On Hold, doing, and done. This setup provides a great flow for tracking tasks from conception to completion. If the order of your lists isn't quite right, don't worry. You can easily drag and drop them. Just click and hold on the list title, and then move it to where it fits best. To add a task, simply look at the bottom of any list and click the Add a Card option. Type in the task you need to complete, then press Enter to save it. You can repeat this process for every task you have. For example, let's add some tasks to your Organize Me list. Review the Q4 marketing strategy. Update the team presentation. Schedule client meetings. And research new project management tools. If you need to add more details to any task, just click on the card you've created and a new window will pop up. This window allows you to add a description, attach files, set due dates, create checklists, and even add labels. You can take your task organization to the next level with labels and due dates. Click on any task card to open it, and you'll see the option to add labels in the right sidebar. Select the Labels button, choose a color, and give the label a name that helps you stay organized. For instance, you might use orange for projects or red for high-priority tasks. You can also set due dates for each task. Just click the Dates button in the right sidebar. Select a date from the calendar and set a reminder. I recommend setting it for 24 hours before the deadline to give yourself ample time. After that, click Save. Now that your board is set up, let's learn how to use it effectively. This part of the system is what truly makes the difference. The first step is task collection. Every time you have a task that takes more than one day, 
add it to your Organize Me list. This list acts as an inbox for all your incoming tasks. The next step is daily planning, which is where the real transformation happens. At the end of each day, review your Organize Me list and choose one to three core goals for tomorrow. These are the tasks that will help you make real progress. Move those goals to your doing list. Here's a pro tip. Most people can only effectively focus on one to three major goals per day. Trying to do more usually means actually doing less. Here's another powerful trick. Organize related tasks by creating checklists within your goal cards. Click on a task in Organize Me, copy the card's URL from your browser, and then open the goal card in Doing. Click on Checklist in the right sidebar and paste the URL as a checklist item. You can continue adding subtasks this way. When you're done, archive the original card by right-clicking and selecting Archive. What happens when tasks don't go as planned? That's where your on-hold list comes into play. If a task gets interrupted or priorities change, simply move it to on-hold. When you're ready to resume, move it back to the doing list. For tasks that you complete, drag them over to the done list at the end of the day. There's something really satisfying about seeing those tasks pile up in the done column. It's a great way to stay motivated. Let me introduce you to a free feature that will supercharge your productivity, power-ups. Trello offers power-ups that enhance your board's functionality, and one of the most useful is the calendar power-up. To add it, click the power-ups button in the top right of your screen, then click Add Power-ups. In the search bar, type Calendar and click Add. Once you've added the calendar power-up, you'll notice a new calendar icon in the top right corner of your board. Click it to view all your cards with due dates in a calendar format. This is super useful for weekly planning, as it makes it much easier to spot any deadline conflicts. Now here's the most crucial tip that will ensure your success with Trello. You need to commit to a daily review. This doesn't have to take long. Just set a 15-minute appointment with yourself at the same time every day, preferably at the end of your workday. Make this meeting non-negotiable. During your daily review, go through the following steps. Review your Organize Me list to see what needs attention. Then, plan tomorrow's one to three goals. Move completed tasks to the done list and update due dates if necessary. This small habit will keep your productivity system running smoothly. And there you have it, your complete productivity system in Trello. To recap, we covered how to set up your board, create an effective list structure, manage your daily tasks and goals, and use power-ups like the calendar view to enhance your productivity. Most importantly, we talked about maintaining your system through a daily review. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more productivity tips. Remember to check out the link in the description below for tons of free tools and resources. Thanks for watching. See you next time.